Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the natural form of Pariba tourmaline. Do you know if you heat this stone at 600 degrees, you'll oxidize out that pink and purple, leaving only neon electric blue. You can actually see the blue in the crystal structure of this stone. The blue is in there saying, let me out, let me out. And that's basically what 99.9999999% of all Paribas go through. They go through the heating process very similar to what tanzanite goes through and they oxidize out the unwanted colors now in most cases people or in paribas case you find gray amethysty like color or you find a gray overtone or you find a color that is not so attractive in the natural form and that's the majority of the material so what people do is they heat all of it they just heat all of it they turn it blue and that's what pariba is known for but un heated pariba looks like this so if you preserve it in the natural state of which i did and why do i do this because if you look back historically look at tanzanite for example you can heat pink tanzanite and it will turn to light blue but you will never be able to turn it back to pink pink tanzanite sells for 10 times the price of blue now why because it's extremely rare it is extremely uncommon if you look at green like really good chromium green tanzanite it sells for huge premiums and it's exactly the same as what happened to diamond a hundred years ago nobody wanted pink diamond or blue diamond they only wanted white diamond the blues the yellows the pinks nah 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 we don't want that but now everybody wants these fancy colors because they are rare they are impossible to get or the percentage is much much lower for example a d flawless diamond the highest price per garret ever achieved is quarter of a million at auction where you got the pink diamonds have been up into the millions three million four million per carat so you're talking about significant over 10 times the value i am a believer that when everybody wakes up in 15 years from now and there's no more pariba supply in the world people are going to say wow that is an unheated natural pariba and that is extremely uncommon and very few people in the world have them because it's true everybody heated them so they could get the maximum return for their dollar they all want to put in x and get x and that's why they heat the stones to bring out that neon blue because that's where the fat the fashion is everybody's like neon blue neon blue but if you look historically if you look at the collectability aspect only one in ten thousand paribas is actually beautiful in its natural color and that is what i collect and i'm the biggest collector of these stones in the world and that's what's driven me here you were looking at a perfect top gem amazing neon unheated pariba tourmaline i love the color it will rival the finest quality rubellites in the world the stone weighs in at 7.48 carats you've got 1.14 carats of d flawless diamonds around this particular piece yes i could have heated it yes i could have sold it for you know over ten thousand a carat yes i know but i am a gemstone fanatic and i'm going to preserve it in the natural state and whoever holds on to these gems i am telling you you've already won because there is very few in the world of this material this material is getting harder and harder to find with no supply coming out of the mines and it's only a matter of time before the prices explode